Hey everyone, we're back with another game of Popper Duel Commander. Today we're going to be having Gut, Inspiring Leader versus Armix and Togo. Gut has a background, it's a 3-drop that makes all token creatures have plus 2, plus 2 when Gut's on the battlefield. Um, and his ability is you can sacrifice an artifact or a creature when you're attacking and make a 4-1 attacking menace skeleton creature. It's a really aggressive creature strategy deck, um, it's a lot of fun. I just got it in the mail and want to try it out, so this isn't going to be part of a tournament or anything like that. It's just a one-off video. The other deck is Armix and Togo, which you've probably seen before. It's a partner deck. Uh, it's control-y, mid-range, um, has a lot of removal and artifact synergies. It's been refined several times from its original state. Um, a lot more control-y than it used to be, and I think it's really improved. This deck's seen a lot of success in other players' hands in tournaments and things like that. Um, it's a fun deck, uh, versatile, good colors for removal, things like that. Um, so it should be a good matchup. I thought it'd be kind of um, evenly uh, evenly paired, fun to watch uh, kind of matchup. So enjoy. Um, this is Gut versus Armix and Togo. Gut starts us off at the tap land and passes. Armix plays a Snow Swamp and then an Astrolabe, which lets him draw a card. Gut plays his second land and then a Mog War Fanatic, which makes a token. Armix does nothing on his second turn and passes. The upkeep cost is not paid, so the Mog goes away, making a second token. And then we play a Synthesizer, which flips a land, which is played. And then we pay one for a Bone Splitter. We come in for two, which should have been one because one of those has Summoning Sickness. Armix and Togo plays a third land and does nothing. Gut decides to crack the Synthesizer to make a 2 2 Samurai token and then equips a Bone Splitter and attacks for three. With a great rip, Armis and Togo pulls a Wrath and clears the board and plays a Bounce Land, returning a land to his hand. On his turn, Gut plays his commander Gut and then plays Gather the Townsfolk, making two 1-1 one, one Soldier Tokens. Armis and Togo plays Togo and then plays a Sack Land and sacks it to make two Rocks and passes back. Gut on his turn plays Gut again for five and then attacks, triggering Gut, sacrificing an Artifact Land making a 4-1 and attacking. Togo blocks the token and trades, and then on his turn he untaps, draws, plays a Terminate on Gut again, and then pays one for a Bone Splitter, which is awesome. Plays the land for turn, and then pays three for the other commander. On his turn, Gut plays a Chain Lightning, killing the Bone Picker. Pays two for a Blade of Ancestors, equips it to one of his creatures, Attacks with a 4-1 and the 2-2 for 6, which Armix and Togo take. On his Darmax, Armix and Togo plays a Cranial Plating, attaches it to his commander, attacks for 8, discards a card, killing the 4-1, and then pays 2 for Kumbaj Witches, and sticks a rock on it. Gut pays 2 for a Seething Song, and then may pays 7 for his commander again. He attacks with... Both creatures sacrifices the Bone Splitter to make a 4-1 with Menace. The Kumbaj Witches blocks a 1-1 and then he takes the rest. Armix and Togo attacks with the Armix, discards a card to kill the 4-1, and then pays a cast down to kill the other token. Gut pays 2 for a Spark Spitter and 2 for a Flag Bearer. But in response to the Flag Bearer, the Kumbaj Witch sacrifices the Rock, throws it at Gut, and then on his turn, he taps the Kumba Witch to shoot the Flag Bearer and take one to the face himself. He then taps with Armix, discarding a card to kill the Spark Spitter and hitting for eight. On his turn, Gut makes two tokens and passes back. Armix and Togo is in a commanding place now and attaches a rock to a Virus Beetle and then throws it at the face of Gut to finish him off. All right, that was a quick one. I tried to speed up the editing a little bit to see if we could move through the game faster. Um, that might have been a little fast because it was kind of hard to cast that, but I think we got everything covered. It was a good game, just a lot of removal to get through and gut, you know, was trying to play around that first piece removal by, by slow rolling the gut, um, but eventually had to get that gut out there, um, had it removed three times, which is tough. I think the one mistake of the game was the chain lining probably should have gone to the Armix instead of the Bone Picker. It's a tough call because the Bone Picker is going to just start throwing rocks at you and can also hit for three in the air. Maybe if there was a blocker that could have dealt with the Armix, that would have been a better play, but it just didn't pan out like that. So Gut loses its first game on camera. I still think it's a good deck. I think it can be extremely explosive. We played another game after this where it looked like the Armix and Togo was going to win again, but the Gut uh, won with a... Uh, anthem spell off the top so 
the aggro strategy can be, be fast and dangerous. I think it's a good deck. We're going to keep trying it out and see how we like it. Thanks for watching this all the way to the end. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps us out, and I'll see you next time.